All right, what's up, what's up? I am just here in the Wetflow forums helping out people. And we got Bump and Hustle, who is Mark, has problems with counter up JavaScript canceling the tabs hover JS. I'll pay, see how much money he's going to pay me. Uh, but I'm happy to just be a help. Can anyone help, please? It would be much appreciated. On the tabs widget, I wanted the tabs to change on hover. I've successfully done this using usual JavaScript. I also have, whoops, also have counter up JavaScript used to animate numbers, counting up from zero to desired number. I've done counter up before. It can be a little tricky sometimes, depending on the library you use. When I add this JavaScript for the counter, it cancels the tab hover JavaScript. The only way around this is to have two separate JavaScript on different pages. However, I need both the tabs hover JavaScript and counter up. Would anyone care to offer any creative solutions? Uh, I'm not the best coder. I'm reaching out to very clever people on here. I will also be happy to pay you with virtual coffee. Hey, man. Always appreciate a good coffee. Please be my guiding light. I'm ready to be your guiding light, bump and hustle. Let's do this. All right, so let's open up. I've actually already got it open here uh, in his preview. Actually, what happened was uh, Milan offered a solution here, but bump and hustle said it was only animating one of the counters. And that's actually do he's document .query selector here and he called counter up on just the element. This will factor into my solution in just a second. And then uh, he posted another solution in response. But you'll see what's happening. They have the new stuff here. It doesn't animate on load. And then you come down here and you start hovering on the map. And it will just run up the numbers. And the reason this is happening is because you're calling this dot click. So you're calling dot hover action on a function when jQuery gets the class of tab link and clicking it. So that's good. That goes back to how you were doing your code before, just like this, which works, as you said. But you're also running the counters within that hover function as well. And I read through the code, and actually, what you have in here is fine. You just need to change this to query selector all, and then for, run a for each loop and run this on each one. And I will show you what I mean. It's going to be a little bit roundabout to get all the way there. Uh, but it won't take, it won't, shouldn't take me too long. So I'm going to open up your test page here. Since I can't publish my custom code, what I, the way I'm going to troubleshoot my own is I'll come in here. And I'm going to make an override, create a new, actually, I already have overrides folder here. So I'm just going to select that folder. And then it wants, Chrome wants me to allow to write to override. So I'm going to do that. And I have yours in here. This is the old one. I meant to delete this. Let me delete so I can actually give you a good example. OK. And now to actually get your file in overrides, how do I do that again? I think I'll go over here to page. And this is your Webflow project. So you can see we have all your code here. This is your code, right? So right now it says investment projects, but watch this. If I save this for overrides, and then I go into overrides, and now we open it up here. Let's just change investment projects to our projects. And I'll save. And now I'll reload the page with Command R. And it changes that to our projects. So I'll just switch this back to investment. This lets me save uh, stuff on your page between loads. And so I'm going to go down to the bottom where the code is. And I already wrote this code. I meant to write it out for you. But so if you just change, we'll just use what we have here. Const elements equals document dot query selector all counter. What this is going to do is it's going to get every item on the page with the class of counter. So if I just even run this, if I grab elements now, you'll see it returns a node list uh, of 15 items, probably because you want to, these are all counter. I guess you want to count all of these. If you just want to count these three, then you would just select those three. 
And then since it now returns a node list rather than a, an HTML element, so I notice I renamed it from L to elements in the in this code here. So I'm changing this line. And then I say elements dot for each. And then within that for each, we're getting the element, each element within that. And we're applying the counter up uh, library and like function to that. And you also add this using, this is using jQuery here. You're also, jQuery is a little bit confusing because this selector is going to return a node list as well. Uh, or it might return some fancy jQuery thing. But let's see, I ran that. Yeah, it, it returns, what is the type of this? That's an object. But anyways, this returning multiple items looks like an array to me. Let's see, array dot is array. You really don't care about this. I know you just want your solution. Uh, it's false. So it's some type of um, enumeratable object. But that's why we're calling for each on elements. Actually, sorry, I was referring to this. This one's going to add class for everyone. It's just a little confusing because some of the code here is mixing between vanilla JavaScript. Like this line here is vanilla JavaScript. Uh, this is all vanilla JavaScript. Here is jQuery. And down here, you have some jQuery running as well. Anyways, I will just copy and paste this because this should be all you need and throw it in the forum and I'll send you a link to the video and hopefully that solves all your problems.